Hi, Clara Applewhite Mitchell of Clara Applewhite Designs, here today with the assessment of the Beginners Workshop Part 1 and 2. After every class or so every technique we try, we do an assessment to see if we have completed the assignment properly. So with that, we go. In that assignment, what we were doing were the flat wash, which is using one color. So you see each disc is painted in one solid color. You, the whole idea is to get as flat a color as possible. The next one using one color and water was the graded wash. So the whole disc was wet, then the color was applied and you add more water to your brush, your Sumi brush and you continue adding more water to the brush until you get to the lightest point. So you're moving from one side to the next of the disc or the portion of your design that you're working with. And the other, a blended wash, two or, using two or more colors, plus water and silk salt to get a texture. Now you can do a blended wash without the salt, but you'll see that explained in the second scarf that I did. So now over to the scarves. Once the scarves were dried thoroughly, I heat set them both, let them cure for one day, because they're small pieces, and then I wash them out using the Synthropol, which is an industrial wash for eight minutes in hot water. Once that is done, you rinse it out, let the water run clear and iron them and here they are. So now you see them. The white lines are where the gutta once existed. So now we discuss. The, I chose to put the flat wash in the border as a border treatment on either side of the scarf. Then the graded wash I put on the ends from the border moving in with the brass color, adding more water to the light portion. Now remember, we put down the water first. We brushed water on the, each section. Over here, same thing, brush the water on, then applied the paint or the dye and kept adding water to your brush all the way up. And in the center, blast of color, using the three colors of this composition, the claret, the magenta, and the brass. Of course, the first thing we did, we applied the water in the middle, either using the spritz bottle or a big Sumi brush. Then we applied quickly the claret, the magenta, and then the brass and then use the silk salt sprinkling in that circular motion there to get that movement of color. So that's this one. Now with this one, I decided, okay, we're gonna use those three washes in a scarf. So the square scarf I put, I designed using feather motifs in the corners and circular interests, four circular swirls around each of the feathers. I decided to do the flat wash in the spine of the feathers, as well as in the corners. Then I decided to do the blended wash without using water. So this is direct painting, a direct painting blended wash, the sun yellow into the bright green and into the teal. So no water was put down here, just straight onto the silk. Now in this central area, I let, I painted the four feathers, let it dry a bit, then I tackle the central area. This is where we do the blended wash plus the water and the silk salt to get that movement and texture. 
So this is a blended wash, but this too is a blended wash using, it's a watercolor technique using the silk salt for movement and to create depth. So the center was spritzed with water and quickly I painted the stripes of, use, of the teal and the bright green and then went back quickly with the silk salt and sprinkled in a checkered line, a linear following the lines of the, the paint in the opposite direction as and with in the same direction to create that checkered look. I then went in and painted the flat color, tried my best to paint the flat color in the corners, but because we have a, you know, even though I drew the gutta all the way to the edges, water still seeped under. Now with this, this composition, that's fine because it's a watercolor composition. So though I aimed at having a flat wash hair, water from the center seeped in there, but that's, that's fine. If you don't like that sort of thing, you can do something like this, a more geometric design where you can control every portion of the color that you use. Here, we don't have blended, but we have the flat washes. And then here we have a graded wash described here in this area. So there you have it, your flat wash, your graded wash using one color and water and the blended wash where you use two or more colors as long as you can with water and silk salt. So hopefully this is something you can practice. Try to use it as much as possible. And I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and do check me out on my Instagram account at Clara Designs Art. Hope this helps.